Inte som det verkar, inte som det ser ut. Seemingly, in the autumn, it seems like there is some kind of uh, scarcity scenario going on. I meant to do this with you a little earlier today, but I didn't found, uh, find the plant that I was looking for, but now I did. <laughs> of course, if you're out looking for wild edible plants, you search as close to your uh, home or whatever you want to call it as possible. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you eat in variation and stuff like that. But sometimes you might want to get uh, some of the more exotic plants. By the way, I don't know about you, but... Oh no! Ah! I can't show it to you. There are cows in the background here. And to be honest, few things scare me. But cows scare me. I get the feeling that they know. They know what we are doing to them and that it is we that are doing it to them. And... Uh, yeah. They are really huge creatures, even though they are not predators, it feels like they could fuck us up for real. So, I've been inside some kind of cow uh, scenario <laughs> a couple of times and I'm always scared to death. <laughs> because uh, I get the feeling that they know what we are doing and, yeah, who knows what they will do to us. But the small ones are kind of cute, and the big ones as well, but I'm still scared. Yeah, so anyway. This plant... Yeah, as I was saying, this plant is uh, called uh, Lume, and uh, since I haven't been preparing this so good, I have to see what it's called in English. <laughs> uh, there it is, my little list. Yeah, Shepherd's Purse. This is called Shepherd's Purse. It has these little hearts going on, and then it has uh, some leaves and stuff like that. And uh, as far as I know, you can eat it. Yeah, the leaves are kind of nice. And um, there are some new leaves popping out uh, on the stalk. Yeah, even better. And uh, then there are these pods. I don't know what they are, if they are seeds or if they are something else. But if they are seeds, it might be a good thing to look at them. They are all heart-shaped. If it is seeds, of course it's a good idea to pick this and dry it, hang it to dry and then uh, yeah, use the seeds um, as you would use other seeds, that is um, mm, soak them for an hour in distilled water and then uh, eat them, grind them or blend them. But I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, uh, I'll write in the comments below what uh, <clears throat> what this is. Mm, the heart-shaped uh, little things at the top. So... Yeah, but I, I like the taste. It's kind of cabbage -y, so to speak. Mm. And... Um, yeah, it's available right now. In the... Almost in the middle of October, if you look in nice places. And... Um, it's dark enough uh, to get a little confused about the shape of the plant, but uh, so it might benefit you, it will benefit you to get out into nature during the day while the sun is up and stuff like that so that you see the condition of the plants and stuff like that, you get the sunshine on you, it's uh, better to uh, ground yourself and stuff, stuff like that. But it's just uh, one little problem when it comes to being outside on daytime, on a daily basis. You are probably working too much. Maybe you shouldn't. <laughs>